Olá, bem-vindo. My name's Emma. This is Portuguese Language Lessons, another on-track online lesson. This time, level one, lesson eight. Um, in this video, which goes with the PDF that I've sent you, I'll go through all the exercises on the sheet, going through the answers as well, which are written at the end of the sheet. Remember, it's a video. You can stop, rewind, go forward at any time. You can listen through to my explanations and then have a go yourself, um, or do it at your own speed. I'll usually read out the Portuguese and give you a chance to repeat the key words and phrases. And a lot of what's here is in the Quizlet sets that you've already been sent. If you come into class, the exercises are based in this material. Anything not clear, just email or ask in class. Okay, so this is what the text looks like, the PDF. We're going to start with listening to some earworms. Okay, so here we go. We're going to listen here now. There you've got lots of really useful phrases. Do you remember what the phrases are? Let's just go through what they mean. I'm going to write in the answers here. So, bon dia, that's good morning, usually before lunch. Boa tarde, good afternoon. Como está? How are you? And fala English. Do you speak 
speak English. Nice and short in Portuguese. Não falo português. I don't speak Portuguese. And chamo-me. My name is. Or I'm, I call myself. Não compreendo is I don't understand. There's various ways to say I don't understand. That's just one of them. Mais devagar, por favor. Very useful. More slowly, please. É difícil. You see the accent in the middle there? It's difficult. Não é fácil. Again, an accent there. It's not easy. Let's practice pronuncia. Say after me. Bom dia. Boa tarde. Como está? Fala inglês. Não falo português. Chamo-me. Não compreendo. Mais devagar, por favor. É difícil. Não é fácil. Okay. So, we can put this all together to make a little dialogue. So, if I want to say, hello, good morning. Do you remember hello? Hola. Bon dia. Good morning, how are you? That would be, bon dia. Tudo bem, or how are you? Como está? And I'm fine, thank you. You could say to the bain or stu bain. That's why it's stu bain. Or just bain. Let's, make, let's keep it simple. Bain obrigada. Obrigado for a man. Obrigada for a woman. Do you speak English? Fala. English? No. I don't speak English, I don't understand. So that would be no. No falo English. No compreendo. Yes, it's difficult. That would be sim. É difícil. Difícil. The accent in the middle means we say difícil. Yes, it's not easy. Sí, no es fácil. Okay, está bien? So that makes a little dialogue. Yeah. Okay, let's go back up here. Very useful is being able to spell out words. Here I've written the approximate um, pronunciation when you're saying out letters like A, B, C. This won't particularly help you with pronunciation of words, but it will help you to spell out things, for example, your name. So let's just go through them. If you want to repeat after me, um, A, B, C, C, Cedilia, B, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, K, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay. The words that are most, the letters most important for you are the ones for your name to start with to learn. Most of them are okay. The tricky ones are, I think, aga, i, jota, kappa. They're very different, aren't they? You need to learn. It's worth knowing that the letters kappa, w, and y 
are newcomers to the Portuguese language. They never used to exist until about seven or eight years ago. So in most Portuguese words, you won't find these words, these um, letters, are starting to appear as a cut to give a modern twist on names of restaurants and cafes, for example. Um, you might hear slight variations in the way different people pronounce these. Don't worry. So, como se escreve o seu nome? How do you write your name? That's something worth um, practicing. Okay. Okay, some more really useful expressions here. Um, and I've given you the English and then all the words in Portuguese, but mixed up. Do you want to have a go at putting the words together to make the phrases? I'll write them in the answers here. So, I don't speak much Portuguese is... Não falo... Falo muito português. Um, I only speak a little Portuguese. That could be... Só falo... Só falo um pouco de português. Do you speak English? Nice and simple. Fala English. I don't understand. That's nice and easy. Não compreendo. There are other ways to say that. Um, I've just given you the one form here. Can you speak more slowly? Very useful. Pod falar mais devagar. Can you repeat? Also very useful. Pod repetir. How do you say in Portuguese? So that's como se diz em português. And then, again, if you can't understand, if you need something written down, you can ask someone to write it down, please. So that's... Oh. Escreva, por favor. Por favor. Okay. okay. So these are very useful phrases to have in your Portuguese toolkit. Okay. Um... Do you want to practice saying them? Não falo muito português. Só falo um pouco de português. Falo inglês. Não compreendo. Pode falar mais devagar? Pode repetir? Como se diz em português? Escreve, por favor. Ok. Okay, so there we go. A little bit of um, useful words there for you. Now let's do some revision of what we've been studying this month. Saúde, health. Here below we've got a lot of health problems, things that might be wrong with us. And there's some advice. So um, the advice I've written beginning with dev. Very useful. You should. Or non dev. You shouldn't. Okay. And I'm not expecting you'll understand all of this, but using key words that we might recognize that I've highlighted, you should, I think, be able to match up to the English underneath. So what I've done is you've got the problem and the advice, and then underneath one of the English phrases is the translation for both of them. Okay. So, for example, cortei-me, deve pôr um penso, goes with, I've cut myself. You should put a plaster on it. So, the key words um, here, cortei, is like cut, isn't it? It's quite similar to English. And penso, penso rápido, plaster, that we've already studied. Okay. Tenho dor de costas. Deve fazer uma radio... Sorry, radiografia à coluna. Um, so here, 
my back hurts. You should get an x-ray of your spine. Okay. Is that right? So if you want to have a go at matching, good excuse to get your dictionary out or look in your online dictionary there to match up. Go through the answers here. Okay. So here. Um, there. Written the answers to the English there. And check. What I'll do now is I'll just read through all the Portuguese for you. Cortei-me, deve pôr um penso. Tenho dor de costas, deve fazer uma radiografia à coluna. Tenho dor de ouvido, deve tomar um comprimido de paracetamol. Toima a garganta, não deve fumar. Estou a vomitar. Deve beber água. Estou constipado ou constipada. Deve descansar. Sinto-me muito cansada. Deve fazer umas análises ao sangue. Tenho dor da barriga. Não deve comer muitos chocolates. Tenho dor da cabeça. Deve tomar um comprimido da aspirina. Tenho dor de dentes. Deve ir ao dentista. Tenho insônias. Não deve beber café à noite. Tenho tosse. Deve tomar xarope para a tosse. Tenho uma anemia. Deve tomar vitaminas. Tenho uma gripe e tenho febre. Deve ficar na cama até se sente melhor. Tenho uma pneumonia. Deve tomar um antibiótico. Ok? We'll look at this more in class if you're coming. Okay, then underneath we've got some revision of the weather. Here, <clears throat> some words um, that are related to weather situations. Do you know what they mean? Um guarda-chuva. You write the answers down here. Um guarda-chuva is an umbrella. A rain guard. Great, isn't it? An umbrella. Um, notice it's um, masculine. Sentar a sombra. Sit in the shade. Sentar ao sol. Sit in the sun. Ascender loom. That's a good one. Light the fire. Regar as plantas. What are the plants? Protetor solar. Sun cream. Ter cuidado nas estradas. Always in Portugal. Be careful on the roads. See? Okay. So then we can combine this with preciso de. Do you remember that? I need. Or não preciso de. I don't need. To make little phrases. So, if I want to say, I need to sit in the sun, that would be preciso de sentar ao sol. I don't need an umbrella. That would be não preciso de um guarda-chuva. Um, I need to sit in the shade. That's preciso de sentar a sombra. I need sun cream. That's preciso protetor solar. I don't need to water the plants. Não preciso de regar as plantas. I need to light a fire. Preciso de ascender lume. And I need to be careful on the roads. Preciso de ter cuidado nas estradas. Okay. 
OK, muito bem. Any questions, get in touch, email me. Um, if you come into class, I'll see you then. OK, so tchau.